Hi kissies, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily, if you are new here. I used to do this thing called Spotlight Saturday slash Sunday, just really depending on what day I was able to get to it, where I would highlight an artist or a group that I really wanted to get to know but didn't have time to. And some of these groups I do know more than others, but the group I wanted to do this week is Kiss of Life. Fortunately, because work has slowed down for me, I'm able to bring this back to my channel because I really enjoyed it because there's a lot of artists that are one debuting or have debuted in the last couple of years that I've really, really wanted to get to, but haven't had time. And then their comebacks have just like accumulated over time. And now I'm like four comebacks behind. Um, but this gives me a chance to learn about those artists a little bit at a time. But today's group is Kiss of Life, which a lot of you have wanted me to do for a very long time. And Honestly, I'm more familiar with this group than other groups I have done in the past. Um, I know every member. The one I know the least about is Hanul. Um, and for these songs, the three I'm doing, I'm of course doing Shh, uh, Midas Touch and Bad News. I've, I really haven't heard anything about Bad News. I think the, they did Bad News and Nobody Knows at the same time. And I heard more of Nobody Knows than I did Bad News. Um, so I don't think I have heard really much, if any, of that song. But I haven't seen any of these MVs. Now, I do know Shh, and I do know um, Midas Touch, but I really only know the choruses of those songs. I haven't heard them all the way through. But there's been so many TikToks and, like, just little sh shorts that have used those uh, songs that it's kind of hard to um, kind of tune those out because I haven't reacted to them. So I have heard the choruses, but I haven't heard the entire songs. So if I am familiar with the chorus when I react to these, that is why. But really, really looking forward to this. I'm going to start with their debut. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into Shh. Ooh, ooh, this is a strong start. Yeah, I remember exactly when they debuted. Like, I remember exactly like, what was going on in the time period. And a lot of people were are automatically like, Emily, I think you really like this group. Um, I just did not have time to get into them. And the fact that I have waited so long um, to get them on my channel is so upsetting. I remember that chorus being so so catchy. Now, Hanul is their mock mate, I want to say. Oh, hoo hoo. We love protective besties. This is actually a really cute MV. Ooh. 
I remember that high note. I just realized this is like a five and a half minute song. This was so cute. This was such a- Honestly, you know what I remember from their debut was their performance video was everywhere. of life this is what I remember <sighs> that that note of bells is so good and I want to say I actually knew them I don't know if it was pre-debut or just as they debuted um, because, uh, Belle did the background vocals for Child of uh, Mark Lee's song, um, because she was a producer or, I don't remember exactly what her role in SM was, but I want to say she was a producer at SM or a songwriter at SM. I don't remember exactly, but she did the background vocals for Child, um, and that was my most played song last year. So I didn't even realize it was her until somebody had brought it up, but I knew her vocals were good coming in. But this was such a like, this is actually really interesting. Cause they did a performance MV. But I don't think it's long enough for them to do the whole performance MV. Was Julie. Hano. And then of course Natty. Everybody was doing this dance. This is actually really cute. Because I don't think this is the whole performance in V. I feel like all their outfits capture their personality. With the limited information I have. You know, in all honesty, I have no idea what company they belong to now that I think about it. Because, like, even the not really like s smaller groups, but, um, but it's so crazy that, like, I genuinely have no, like, I don't even recognize this logo, S2 official. I don't know who, what company they belong to, which is kind of crazy given to how popular they are. 
I feel like they're really, really big. So I don't know what the like marketing was for them when they first debuted because, um, again, like I said, because I'm not reacting to them at the time, I try not to know a lot about them. That way I can learn more as they're on my channel. Um, and I can like learn with you guys like watching and helping along and stuff. But because they've been so big, it's been hard to ignore who they are and um, their backgrounds and everything. It's kind of crazy that I just, I genuinely don't know what company they belong to. Um, so, but next we have bad news. Let's go ahead and get into this. Now this one, I really don't know what it sounds like. I do remember Belle having red hair. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, but I really like this pre-chorus. This instrument reminds me of something and I cannot think about what it is. Oof, oof, but <laughs> that threw me off. Uh, this part, honestly, the instrumental reminds me, not necessarily because it sounds the same, but it gives off the same um, vibe, I guess, that Sorry Not Sorry by It's He Does. Because when I first heard it, that's immediately what my head went to. Dang. God, Miss Bell, a singer. I saw she went to Lee Musion service, which I've been doing a bunch of those this week. So I might as well just. I might as well just add her into that. Dang. Do they have lore? Nobody knows. And I really wanted to do that one today, but I usually only do like three songs the first time I react to a group. 
Um, and I figured I should do the the three title tracks that they've done. Um, so, but I've heard the chorus of Nobody Knows. I know for a fact I would like that song. That song is really, that song is right up my alley because I like a lot of R&B music. Um, and from what I've heard of it so far, it follows that same style. Um, so, but our last one we are doing is Midas Touch. You literally haven't, you can't go anywhere remotely like near k-pop and not hear this song this song was uh, everybody was doing the dance so believe me i do know the chorus of the song i don't know the rest of it um but very excited to finally hear the entirety of the song because i also don't add songs to my playlist until i have heard all of it um so i will finally get to add this one because i definitely definitely like this song so with that being said our last one which is minus touch Oh, we're getting stuck. Oh. Straight into it. Like, they're literally everywhere. They're so popular. This is stunning. Ooh. I want to praise this pre chorus again. Hano. Ooh. I love her voice. Oh. I know. This it. This is actually kind of a cool MV. Natty with this long hair. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love this. They're they're pre-choruses. They have really good pre-choruses for their songs. Touch. Oh. I love that. I don't know who does say choreo, but they were onto something with that. Like, even the guys have been doing it. Oh. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the rest of Kiss of Lives music because, oh, they have, like, so many live performances. And, oh, oh, okay. 
But I remember when they uh, promoted Midas Touch. Um, I don't remember who was promoting at the same time they were, but I remember their promotional stages. I think I'm really going to enjoy their music because I think Nobody Knows is a B-side. And so if their B-sides are that strong, given to what I have heard about Nobody Knows um, and what, um, or at least the, the chorus part and how much I enjoy it, um, I think I'm really going to like the rest of their music. Additionally, their choreographies always seem to catch my attention. Um, because another thing, the reason I s not started listening to Nobody Knows, but the reason I kept seeing it is because I kept watching the like TikTok challenges for it and that continuously, or the TikTok slash YouTube shorts for it, and that just kept coming back up on my feed with different artists. Um, and I would almost watch it every time. So I know I love that chorus, but um, their choreographies are also really strong and they're extremely playful as well. So I think that's another reason so many people like them. Um, this MV was really, really cool. I also didn't realize that the song wasn't even three minutes long. It didn't feel that short, but man, these, th these girls can sing. I knew they were like really good singers, but man, those pre-choruses, those pre the pre-choruses and those bridges. A lot of the times, bridges are usually my favorite. Bridges or choruses are usually my favorite parts of the songs. But there's just something about a kiss of live pre-choruses. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. Um, but man, they got some really strong pre-choruses. But I thoroughly enjoyed getting to know, uh, getting to know more about their music, and I will in due time get to know more about them. I really didn't take a, a long time to get to know them just because they were always on my Twitter feed um, because I have a lot of my friends who are really big fans of Kiss of Life and that's probably another reason why I see them so often. I also always see them because people are constantly talking about how talented they are even if they're not fans of Kiss of Life and they've also been on like YouTube content to showcase those skills like Lee Mugen Service. I know they went to K-Star Next Door to do... Um, just like vocal challenges with InMix. So uh, they're constantly displaying their talent, their vocal prowess. I think they'll be a lot bigger than they actually are right now, especially with how big Midas Touch was. Um, I think their next comeback is going to be even bigger. So I'm uh, really, really looking forward to getting to know more about Kiss of Life. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I guess put in some re recommendations of, I, I really don't, I know their names and I know their title tracks, but I don't know how many albums they've put out. I don't know um, the full extent of their discography. I really know their names and that's pretty much it about their personalities, but I could tell from the like dance, the performance video um, that they kind of teased at the end of uh, their debut that you can just kind of tell their personalities based off of the clothes they picked out. I um, mean, from the little clips I've seen on Twitter, uh, so, but y'all let me know some ways to get to know Kiss of Life a little bit more. But I really, really enjoyed this. Hope you guys did too. Um, and with that being said, I will see y'all in my next Kiss of Life reaction. Bye, kissies.